Alright, so what happens when you want to use your rear torpedoes, which the A and the B of the Type 7 only have one of, and you're low on your front torpedoes and you don't, you don't want to use them all up yet? Well, in this example, I have only three torpedoes left in my front uh, torpedo banks, and I still have my, f I got the B model of the Type 7, so I still got three torpedoes in the back, but in the back you only have one torpedo. So what you need to do is actually set up a little bit different than I showed you in my first video. Now I'm going to actually line up for my sub. It's facing the same heading as the ship that I want to attack. As you can tell, you still have the little, the little round numbers that pop up when you select your torpedo tubes. Right now I have the rear torpedo tube selected. And now I just switch to the first torpedo tube. Just, I'm just figuring out how I'm going to set up my attack here. Now the torpedoes in the game will actually change course to hit the enemy merchant ship. So you don't always have to be at a right angle to attack the ship. Now as you can tell here, he's getting closer and now I am moving my periscope to intercept my number three with the ship's number three. And when he gets into range, I will fire my rear torpedo, which is torpedo number five in the fire bank. And there I go, I fire the torpedo. Now at this angle, you have a higher chance of missing, so it's not a perfect shot, but you still can miss. And now you can watch the torpedo take off. You can see the little wake. It's hard to see. It's dark out, but you can see the wake. And now watch the torpedo turn. See how it's turning towards the ship? And now it's going to go on to an intercept course where it's going to be where when it reaches that. Remember, I am facing the same heading as the enemy ship. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I only have one torpedo in the back. So I need to shoot him with another torpedo. The problem is that one torpedo isn't going to sink him, so I need to have my front bank set up too, where I can fire my second torpedo th from the front bank, and by the time the ship reaches nearer to my ship, my front bank torpedo will be able to hit him. Now as you can tell, this one hit almost directly where I want it to go. Direct hit, but this, he won't sink from this, it usually takes two to three torpedoes to sink ships in Silent Hunter 5 right now. Okay, so now I'm switching to my forward torpedoes and what I'm noticing now is that my numbers and the enemy's numbers cannot match up. The 1, 2, and 3. There's no way I can get the numbers to match up even if I change the speed. So now I'm gonna have to estimate where I'm gonna fire it because in Silent with the new auto TDC you don't actually have to uh, line up the numbers, but you do have to get it close, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do right here. The lines come in from your periscope that the number's on, and the lines come in from the ship actually are the same. The ship one's a smaller version. What you need to do is you need to find out where y his line is going to intercept on your line, and then when you fire a torpedo, you want to fire that torpedo when that line ends up going over your line. So in this case, it's his ship's going to run under my three about a third of the way down the line. One third of the way down the line. Just about above half. So when he gets there, when he crosses my line, I'm going to actually fire when my line is a third of the way down from the number three. Now you gotta remember, he knows I'm there now, so he's zigzagging. So you wanna be pretty close when you do this, and it's still not a guarantee that you'll hit him. Now, as you can tell, I got my finger on the fire button, and I fired. I was about a third of the way down from the three. You see where my line intercepts, and now I fired a torpedo. Again, I am facing the same heading he is heading right now. I am not 90 degrees to him. So now we're going to watch the torpedo do the same thing that the last one did. It's going to fire at his heading, but it's going to turn into him 
and intercept him at the spot that my periscope was shooting. And as you can tell, the, the torpedo's turning right now, and now it's heading for him. Again, you're not guaranteed to hit him this way because you don't have the numbers to help you on this. You have to estimate now on the lines. They only give you so much cheats with the auto TDC. So if you have the 1, 2, and 3, if you line those up to what they represent on each line, then you'll almost guarantee to hit. But when you have to go beyond those three circles and guess, estimate where to hit, then you have to guess in between what's going to happen. And usually you can do pretty well doing it that way. So I hit him with a second torpedo. Now I only have two torpedoes left and I want to still hunt some more merchant ships out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to surface the vessel since there's no destroyers with him. And I'm going to go to the deck gun and I'll show you how to use the deck gun. And sorry about the lag and the, the fraps. Uh, for some reason fraps and fire in this game don't seem to mix very well. But I'm going to, you have to actually go to your deck gun to actually use it in this game. I don't know why that is but unless there's something I'm missing. You click on the deck gun and then you'll get on it and eventually two guys will enter the deck gun where you can control it. Now you move, now I'm moving over, sorry again about the lag, this is because Fraps does not like the fire for some reason. It's not usually this slow in my game, but I'm just showing you. Now, on the top there, how I got the optics in the top left corner is you push that little binocular button, that's how you get your optics in the game. And now I started firing at him. He turned his light on because he's looking for me. And uh, I gotta warn you guys, even if they don't have weapons on their ships, they have small arms fire and they will shoot at you with small arms. It doesn't do much damage, but it can freak you out when you're actually firing at them. You'll see uh, tracers heading towards you. Now he's sunk and now everything's fine. Every, uh, I sunk my another merchant ship. So basically that's what you gotta do to sink merchant ships. Remember now, the auto TDC, you do not have to actually line up the three dot the, the, the respective dots on the lines with each other. Any particular spot on each line can line up and that's how you'll hit it. Ubisoft decided to give you three dots to help you out, but sometimes those three dots do not line up in a, in a particular situation. So you have to start guessing the distance, the distance between the lines. You can use a, you can use the circles to guess that. Um, I, I think they did this to make the game a little bit harder for people that like me that use Auto TDC. And at first I didn't like it, but it's actually starting to grow on me now, and hopefully it will everybody else too. Thanks, guys. Bye.